Victoria, Library Manager here at the Hillsborough Public Library. I'm so glad to see you today. I bet that I know why you're here. It's Felt Friday. I hope that you're as excited to watch our Felt story as I am. But before our story starts, I'd really like to sing her hello song. Singing is one of my favorite things to do. Will you sing our song along with me? You will? Great. If you don't know the words, that's okay. Listen this time, and maybe you can sing along the next time. Are you all set? Okay, let's go. Now it's time to say hello, say hello, say hello. Now it's time to say hello, hello everyone. Now it's time to wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Now it's time to wave hello, hello everyone. Wow, that was such wonderful singing. Thanks so much for singing with me. Well, it's time for our felt story to start. I hope that you like it. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She was called this because she always wore the red hooded cape made for her by her grandmother. One sunny day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to deliver some baked goods to her grandmother's cottage on the other side of the woods. Her mother reminded her that she was to stay on the path and not talk to strangers. As she was walking along, a wolf appeared from behind the trees. Where are you going, little girl? The wolf asked. Little Red stopped and looked at the wolf. He seems friendly, she thought. I'm bringing this basket of baked goods to my grandmother's cottage on the other side of the woods. The wolf knew of this cottage. How lovely, he said. I saw some beautiful wildflowers just off the path. You should pick some for her on your way. Little Red thanked the wolf and headed off to find the flowers. When her back was turned, the wolf ran as fast as he could towards the cottage. Shortly after, the wolf arrived at the grandmother's cottage. The grandmother heard the knocking at the door. She was expecting Little Red. When she opened the door and saw the wolf, she gasped, a wolf, and quickly fainted. The wolf picked the grandmother up and hid her inside her wardrobe. He then quickly grabbed her night hat and glasses and climbed into her bed. There he waited patiently for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. A short while later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's cottage. Come in, said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood entered her grandmother's cottage. Hello, grandmother, she said. Come closer, my dear, said the wolf, pretending to be her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood moved closer and looked at the wolf. Oh, grandmother, what big ears you have, she said. All the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. Little Red looked again. Oh, grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, replied the wolf. Little Red looked again. Oh, grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you up with, said the wolf, and he quickly jumped out of the bed. Little Red Riding Hood screamed for help. Nearby to the cottage was a woodsman. He heard the cry and ran into the house. The wolf was startled by the woodsman. He saw that he had an axe, so he ran away as fast as he could and he was never seen 
again. Are you all right, little girl, said the woodsman. Yes, thank you, said Little Red. Suddenly, Little Red heard a rustling sound from inside the wardrobe. She opened the door, and there was her grandmother. Thank you for scaring the wolf and saving us, said Little Red and her grandmother. Then they all sat together and enjoyed the baked goods that Little Red had brought from home. They lived happily ever after.